On this adventure, we were anxious to check out more freshwater systems in the local area, so we headed down to the Illinois-Kentucky border to check out Mermet Springs. We left on the Friday evening to take the long drive down from Chicagoland area down to the southern border. The drive that took so long but was so beautiful with the trees still turning in colors until finally we made it to Mamret Springs. Ready to go. It turned out to be the most gorgeous weekend with our first day being about 40 degrees with a high coming up of 65. The weather was sunny, you could hear the blue jays in the background. Well, immediately we began getting ready because it was time to dive, dive, dive. Now, all, just about all the guys and a few of the women there, they were all wearing their dry suits, but then there was me with my 7 mil wetsuit, and I was a little apprehensive, but I was ready to jump in. Toughest chick around. Our first dive was pretty magical. It was clear visibility, the sun was coming through, there was all these fish, and I did not know that there were freshwater jellyfish, more to come on that later all kinds of crazy things uh, at the bottom on the platforms and then of course I saw my first paddlefish. It was pretty exciting. I've never seen one before. Only heard about them in these fresh water systems. First we came across this railroad coal car. It was sunk in the quarry in 2005. The railroad car was given to the Mermaid Springs after a derailment near the quarry. The railroad gave the damaged coal car to the quarry after it blocked the entrance for several days. Pretty cool to see. Then we came across this ambulance, which apparently was sunk in the quarry in 2004. These objects are actually kind of cool that you can swim through them and it kind of helps with your skills. I myself was not about to swim through this one, but of course, Andre the adventurous being that he is, loves to go through everything that he can. We then came across we then came across this a semi truck type of thing, which was added in 1998. Kinda cool, interesting. All the while here, I'm practicing my buoyancy skills because that is my primary objective at this moment. We then came across the infamous Boeing 727 airplane, which was sunk for the movie U.S. Marshals. This plane was sunk in 1998, and it resides at 15 feet down to 50 feet. So the airplane is hollow from tail to cockpit and can be penetrated at multiple points. Well, I could not resist going in this one, and we had a quite a bit of a fun time checking out all the little things inside this, this uh, 727. So if you are a movie, a fiction auto, you know that the U.S. Marshals movie was in 1998 and it was a sequel to The Fugitive starring Tommy Lee Jones. It also starred Robert Downey Jr., which if you know anything about me, you know that he is one of my favorite actors of all time. So there was these interesting holes that you could swim through and of course, you know, I just tend to follow Andre wherever he goes, trying to be the best dive buddy possible. It was pretty cool to go through some of these sections. Although, I'll be honest, it was a little bit scary for me because like I said, I'm still trying to get my buoyancy down to perfection. So we played in here for quite a while and you know, it was time for us to leave. There was this cool circular opening so I was looking forward to going through that. But first, let's take a look at Andre's beautiful buoyancy and trim. I am super jealous of just how perfectly horizontal he is and that is my inspiration so let's go through the opening pretty cool and here we go and of course i've got to get my dive buddy coming out there he is look at that perfect calm cool collected diving ah So then we continue to swim around this 727, just checking out the outside of it. There was this object on top of it, and I'll be honest, I don't know what this is. So if you do, comment below. So just checking out the cool window um, windows on this airplane and looking at the native species that were surrounding it. I didn't see really any uh, 
invasive species, but I will get to that soon because the actual uh, freshwater jellyfish is invasive from China. So we've got more of that coming up though. Continuing down this airplane here, we have this, uh, what is that? A jet ski. So of course, you know, Andre had to take a ride out of this thing. Check this out. That's silly goof, so. <laughs> yeah, I should have gotten on to it. Too bad it doesn't actually go, right? We would have a lot more fun, but cool to see, cool to play around, and I'm just really having fun with all these interesting things to see. We kept going back to the platform to practice some skills and checking out these awesome little fish. So that was the end of our first dive and we were ready to jump back in again soon. All right, so we saw paddlefish, um, all kinds of other fish. Uh, we also uh, saw the 727 airplane and all kinds of other cool things. So you'll see that there. Wait, did you have a good dive? I did. So what did you see? Um, several paddlefish. I, I keep yeah. telling them, I, go, I don't feel nothing. Some trees. You know, we get <laughs> right. Good stuff. And were you warm enough? <laughs> no, never. Never been too warm on a dive. <laughs> Mermet Springs has this awesome heater and heated dressing room. So, you know, this became my best friend. But soon we're back in the water and here we go. Now, here's the funny thing about me is that I'm always having these little disasters and my DSMB actually became unclipped to my wing and then poor Andre had to collect the string which had gotten twisted all the way around on objects in the bottom and it took about 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm so blessed to have him in my life to help me through these calamities. So back on the platform, checking out the fish. Word is, is that these fish are being fed and this is why they're congregating in these large numbers, but still very cool to see. <laughs> So Mermaid Springs actually plays music on the water. So for our second dive, it was pretty awesome to be uh, listening to these cool classics. And uh, the sun was still shining, the visibility was awesome, and it was just an amazing second dive. So Andre started uh, practicing some of his technical diving skills, switching out his tanks and doing his valve drill skills. So always supportive of that, making sure that he keeps up his skills so that he can take it to the next level even more so. Probably next year, we'll see what we have planned for our next upcoming training. So for me, I probably plan to take the deep diver. And here again is another one of these. Fresh water jellyfish. Did you know that there were fresh water jellyfish? They're actually from China and they are invasive. We don't exactly know how long they've been here, but they've been in that quarry for quite a while. So now we are on to this object, which, what is this? It looks like some sort of possibly part of a helicopter or maybe, no, this is the Cessna. So Andre swam through that. I wasn't too keen on swimming through that. It looked a little bit too tight for me, but I definitely can capture the moment on, on recording. So next we came upon this Ford pickup truck and this was sunk at a depth of 60 feet in 2007. So it's located near the 60 Fort platform. And check out this little message that Andre wrote on the window. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> it melted my heart. Of course, this man always melts my heart, so what can I say? Aww. So next we came across this school bus. And this was kind of cool to walk through, not to walk through, to swim through. Um, yeah, so let's go through this one. Again, these objects are fun just to swim through. Practice your buoyancy, going through small spaces. I wanted to take a picture sitting on the one of the benches, but I had a hard time uh, just sitting on there. And then Andre didn't even know that I was behind him. Otherwise, I could have given him the camera, but I tried my best and it did not work. I immediately lost my buoyancy, but we came out on the other end, which had an interesting uh, tub with boiling bowling balls in it. So 
Anyway, all kinds of goofy stuff. And then there's Andre smiling. Our mandatory uh, selfie that we always take. We love doing this. It's kind of a fun way to end our diving experience. So. It's all ground up. We Come ended the night uh, going to El Torito in town. How was your food? How was your food? It was awesome. Yeah? Great Mexican, stuff me to the gills. I not even do it today. So I just had to give a shout out to Marriott Hotels. It was my first Magical time using key. the mobile app for keyless entry. It worked most of the time, so. <laughs> but it was nice to just do all the check in, check out, key. and keys just through your phone. You're gonna have to edit this. But am I really? Oh, oh you're just a wuss. And of course, I was so in love with these pillows that I wanted to take them home and hopefully I can find a way to purchase them soon. Smurmet Springs, fun days are always had. Rock to the music underwater while you swim through the ropes leads to the various underwater attractions. We'll be back soon to this beautiful location. So until then, do check out our other videos. We'll be back soon with more conservation and adventure stories. So until then, be sure to subscribe.